Hey Yoshi! Hey Lucky! Hey Gardamon! Hey Foxen! Hey Random Cat! Okay, I don't want to get sucked into introductions forever. Let's leave it there. Oh, hey Loon! Hey Jesse! Hey Tactus! How's it going, everyone? Hey Dre! Hey Ninja! Hey David! Let's hope for English or America or PC. You mean Puyo Puyo Esports? I hope it appears everywhere in the world. That's my dream. Hello, Stu. Your name is Stu. I'm calling you Stu. Oh. Thank you? You're doing work. Aw. Well, that's okay. What's TGS? It's Tokyo Game Show. It's a yearly event in Japan where they announce new games, like Puyo Puyo Esports. Oh? Oh? Did I get them? That's a full chain. This should be enough. Oh, am I obscuring the screen a little with my with my face? There we go. <laughs> I love Carbuncle. Can you stream snipe me? Sure. <laughs> Where did I get the carbuncle plush? <laughs> I've been putting this off for so long, but... Um... I received it as a gift from... An amazing person. Actually, it was two people. But... They gave me a lot of things, actually. And I want to show it off on Twitter, but I haven't cleaned up my room. And I still haven't gotten around to it. I feel so bad because, like, I know I promised them <laughs> to tweet the stuff, but my room is just like forever dirty and I don't know what to do. Is this good enough? Oh! Whoa, the counter! I'm so hyped for Puyo Puyo Esports too. Maybe I should translate that hype into cleaning my room. <laughs> I lived like such a dirty life. I'm sorry. Hmm. I was going to attack, but... Actually... Hmm... 
ござるアキビルサーブワーユーヒューピドンライクプヨプヨアミンアゲスピケシシクリドゥライクプヨプヨアキンアマジソモンノーライキンプヨプヨライクウォーズデルトディスライクアバウプヨディスモスハムレスバッビューティフォーティングエヴァーイフィディスライクプヨプヨデンユーライクアドノーアゲスヒハヴイヴォーインサイドヴィーオーソンティ Okay, maybe that was kind of mean, but. Wait, are they even ready to. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh! I knew that was happening, so I prepared. Did I somehow beat them? Hey, Dwayne, what's up? You know, I realize I should be playing Puyo Puyo Tetris or Splatoon 2 right now, since Nintendo Switch Online is going to die within a couple days, but I don't know. I'd rather just play this game. <laughs> I can wait until next month to start playing my Switch again. I'm okay with that. What about Shezo? Well, Shezo is clearly like a B character. Who will never achieve anything in his life because he's not Arl or any one of the main girls, so he'll never achieve anything in life. You don't have to be afraid of him. Ooh, that looks like a.、Uh, you know, maybe I'll just set this all off. Well, I, by die, I mean it becomes a, like a truly paid service by the end of what, this week? So, <laughs> rip the good days. I should have prioritized. Hmm, they're training weirdly. Shouldn't go for such big risks. Like, how does that work? Hmm. You know, I think I'm okay with just setting this off. Like, what is that really? <laughs> I wish he would turn off online for, for a month. The moment. <laughs> Dude, the online service is still like. Somehow it got even worse after they started asking you to pay. Like, right away on Splatoon 2, I got like two disconnects. And then. The NES emulator wasn't even that good with Netplay. But apparently, there's like a reduced latency option, but I'm just like, well, shouldn't that option be on all the time? <laughs> yeah, turns out we were supposed to use low latency, but. Who knew that I wasn't always trying to do low latency, you know? <laughs> Don't really understand the logic of that. 
I don't know. Sometimes you shouldn't try to question Nintendo too hard. Same goes for Sega. Or really any gaming company. They will never make decisions that make sense to you. Oh. Okay, oh boy. Will this be enough? I don't think I have a 10. Oh, I did have a 10. Huh? No. It doesn't come out this Saturday, it's just more news will come out this Saturday. They showed some private gameplay footage on their Nico video stream, but then it becomes open to the public Saturday. Oh. Oh, no! Okay, this is kind of bad, actually. Are you gonna set that all off? Please don't. Gotta buy some time. Oh! That one! <laughs> oh, nice! Um, the video footage is locked behind some Nico video stuff, so who really knows how to find it? I didn't really get to see it myself, I only heard about it from other people. It's that little thing where I'm looking? Yeah, it's an eye tracker. <gasps> Yoshi! I'm actually kind of legitimately apprehensive about whether Puyo, Puyo Esports will get localized. Like, I don't really question it coming out for like, uh, Taiwan or Korea because those places have already historically been pretty accepting of Puyo Puyo as a series but over here in the States or in Europe it's not the same oh I'm taking a big risk here uh, oh no Should I rush before they- Uh oh.
What do I think about more forgotten characters like Baldanders? I miss them. Baldanders was fun. Skeleton T. <laughs> kind of do miss the the fodder skeleton that you could beat up on for a high score. Is esports no Puyo Puyo esports is the actual name of the game. I personally don't really mind Puyo Puyo Esports as a name. I know some people have an aversion to it because they associate esports with toxicity, but I think that's just more of a reflection of a larger societal issue of all the creepy dudes being the ones in power. But times are changing. Esports itself. The idea of competition and gathering together shouldn't have bad connotations. So to me, Puyo Puyo Esports is pure fun and happiness. I love it. Hmm? Actually, I think casual players can have still have a lot of fun with Puyo Puyo Esports. According to Zon vs. Tweet, they re they brought back the chain assist indicator to help you while you play in like a live match. So that should help beginners a little bit. They didn't totally forget about. Oh my GTR! So sad. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I understand people's desire for a full Puyo game with a story mode and everything. I don't know. My point of view is just that... I mean... It's undeniable that esports is a big hot thing right now. If Saga can quickly get more investors into Puyo Puyo by catering to the east like the esports boom, then I'm totally okay with that because that means whatever story they have planned next time will be so much better. They can pour a lot more resources into the voice acting and everything. I mean, so far, every single Puyo game has been like low-key a budget game, but if Sega can break into the esports scene, I'm sure a lot more money will be coming in. I think something that you, people should remember is that like a lot of esports games, they don't, they're not just like purely focused on gameplay. Like doesn't Overwatch have like all those skits and stuff? Or what else has skits? Team Fortress? Did that, did that have skits? Even like Street Fighter, they throw in the story mode, even though it's, uh, I mean, not really, I don't know. It's not really that much, but it's something. And they make all of those character skins and stuff. I think, I, I just think, 
it's a misconception to think that catering to esports means everything else about a series automatically gets like erased or something or never it will never be good again like these companies know that like stories and stuff those make money <laughs> they're not going to just like not do it anymore They might not do it now, but they will. I mean, yeah, Street Fighter 5 did it after the fact, but like, hey, it happened because they knew people wanted it. Oh, did I lock him off? Oh, I didn't actually. Oops. Wait, what? That tail is pretty fun. Oh, I do like so Puyo Puyo Esports is going to have something called like a boost mechanic where like it's catered towards casual players. So if you're like losing, then on the next set, it gives you free bonuses like damage up and stuff. I guess like the Puyo, like the party mode items. That's pretty fun. Oh no, I'm an idiot. I need to pop the purples. Oh, help. Oh, I messed it up. Oh. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't personally expect perfect implementations from Sega on day one. There's always something jank to be found. <laughs> it's kind of endearing, I guess. They're going to attack with that, probably. Oh, again. Oh. Hmm. Gotta pressure them. Let me have the advantage. Oh, they set off the chain.
Hmm. Well, I don't think the boost mode is going to be like in ranked or anything. It's just for fun with your friends. I don't really mind adding in features to make it more fun at parties. Gotta cover the yellows. A little bit more. Okay, we're good. They can't dig that. I'm trying to get better at observing at observing my opponent and verbalizing like tactics because I think that's really what sets Puyo apart from other puzzle games. I'm trying my best to not like accidentally play mindlessly in bad. <laughs> yeah. I really want to show the world the complexity of Puyo Puyo. But that requires being like an actually good player myself. <laughs> Rip. Hmm. Can I block that red? Okay, it's not happening. Yeah. Oh, what? I hope my right side powers a lot. Hey, fierce fire. Oh, a twenty a twenty eight hundred player. They're sacrificing everything. Oh, actually, no. They're going to outchain me. I didn't do this right. Oh, that's like a nine chain. careless against this person. I need to use a more safer, precise attack and then wait for my chance. How do I open them up? Oh. 
Oh, this is too long. Can I just get some reds? Oh my gosh. I guess I made the wrong gamble, gamble there. I just needed one red. Darn. Hmm? You're used to being the worst Puyo player in the chat. Don't think like that. Think of yourself as one of a, the good friends in chat. Music, start Pop the reds! Darn it, I thought that... I don't really know what I thought. What I thought was wrong. I don't have an eight. <laughs> I shouldn't do such a big attack like that without really knowing 100% whether it's going to connect properly or not. Hey, wait, maybe I can rush. Ooh, that's lucky. Wait, are they, are they about to dig that? I think they just dug. Oh my gosh. Wow. I didn't really think about how it was going to keep extending. I saw a swim sort of tail, but then I didn't do it right. Was it possible for me to win by being aggressive earlier? I don't know. This person was really good, so I didn't know whether I should take the risk or not. No, paid online isn't region locked. I tried it earlier on my on my um Japanese account. I bought Puyo Puyo Tetris and then on my USA account that actually does have Nintendo Switch online, I tried playing online with it on the Japanese copy and it worked. Okay, their chain's weird. Let's, let's just go. So yeah, you'll be able to buy Puyo Puyo Esports when it comes out next month by going onto the Japanese eShop. And then you'll be able to play on your USA or European account. Seal off those purples. <laughs> there we go. Can you just buy a physical copy though? No, because the game's not coming out physically. They're trying to make it um, as cheap as possible for them. For the, like, Sega's trying to cut costs, I guess. So they're only releasing the game digitally. Hmm. 
I think that's... Did I connect? Well, the thing is, when the current producer of the Puyo series got in charge, like the direction of, you can tell the direction of the Puyo series changed pretty a lot. Like, I mean, he seems like a very business oriented person, so you probably notice this like what sells and what doesn't. Uh oh. They actually made like a legit chain while I was just like BSing. Oops, I should have been paying attention. <clears throat> Usually during all clear battles, people don't really go for real chains all the time, so it catches me off guard when I'm not really paying attention. I need to look more. I wasn't really looking at all the last round, I, I, I realize. Oh, I messed up. I can't pop the greens. <laughs> hey, Ed. Yeah, it's a little strange to me that Sega of America hasn't announced anything yet about Puyo Puyo Esports getting localized. I mean, I don't really have a frame of reference for that, since Puyo Puyo Tetris itself was an exception to, like, the universe. But... I would like to think that... For something of Puyo Puyo's supposed popularity... They would be working harder to like synchronize localizations, but I guess not. Wait, can I get them here? Got them. I don't know, there's just like other like tiny pieces that fall together and it kind of make me that kind of makes me have doubts. Like I know this really shouldn't have much meaning cuz like it's an easy mistake for anyone to make. But like so the the localization producer for Sega of America. <laughs> I think it was like game game dev day or whatever where you where like game devs are posting about the stuff they worked on. And so he listed like a bunch of games except for Puyo Puyo Tetris. So I'm just like, and we were just like, what? 
But then now that we have like news of Puyo Puyo esports, I'm just like, well, if you are actively working on a localization, wouldn't Puyo Puyo be on the top of your mind right now? So retrospectively, it makes me wonder, are they working on a localization right now? I don't know. No! Ah, I couldn't get to my counter in time. Oh, I cut early. I couldn't get to my purples. Oops, well, here comes a bad GTR. Oh. Oh. Have to build up. Now I'm like low on space too. Uh-oh. Well, hopefully they sacrifice too much. Please don't catch up. Oh, they caught up. Well... Uh, I didn't get any blues, so like, what could I do to finish my chain? <laughs> Would I like to play Fever someday? Yeah, let's play it when Puyo Puyo Esports comes out because Puyo Fe Fever on Puyo Chronicle is still like kind of laggy sometimes because a lot more is going on. But hopefully on Puyo Esports it'll be a lot better. Okay, let's see if we can win this time. Okay, they've got their chain fast. I have to start doing something. Ugh. I blocked them? Darn. Oops, this kind of destroys everything. Oh, and they had the perfect piece too. Well done. I think I lost. <sighs> oh no. This doesn't work. Totally messed up my base with that one attack. I went too far. But this guy's chaining really fast and efficiently. I think they're not really splitting at all. I need to go for a more chain efficient form too. I need to match their chaining efficiency just for a little bit. Then I need to start thinking about attacking. Okay. All right. How about this? Well, will I ever get a purple? Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> wow. That was like 
so many pieces. I wish, I really wish these matches weren't first to two. First to three at least, you know? You guys don't be like that. Fever is good, <laughs> okay? <laughs> I mean, Fever is definitely more balanced than like Tetris garbage RNG. <laughs> But maybe that's an unfair comparison because kind of like a lot of things are <laughs> fair compared to that. I feel like their GTR is too complicated. Oh, no it's not. But wait, they didn't count their colors? They needed another purple. They could have definitely beaten me. Hmm, interesting. Does it add enough depth? What are you basing that off of? Your subjective idea of depth? Where does it come from? I don't know. I've, I've fought the professional fever players before, way back in the day, and they're kind of crazy. <laughs> I think there's plenty of depth. I'll let you be the judge of depth after you become number one in the world, okay? Oh, I forgot a red. Cooking. <laughs> Alex, thank you so much for your super chat. <laughs> Five dollars, oh my gosh. Play as Miss Accord, please. Okay, sure. So if you want to find a fever player that's really amazing to follow, um... Well, there was one player called Sai, S-A-I. They were ridiculous at like drop set chaining. I don't know how you would do it so efficient efficiently. Um, and then Chemistry. He's actually really good at drop set chaining too. Like on the down low. Oh. I feel like this is enough, right? <gasps> David, oh my gosh. Thank you so much. This is to bring my total up to 2424. <laughs> Can't become number one regional switch with me here in Georgia, but I haven't touched Puyo Puyo Tetris in forever. 
You should be able to like grind past me eventually if that's what you really care about. I'm not really too concerned about my switch rating on Puyo Tetris. Hmm, come on. Okay, let's get that green. Alright, they're stuck. I haven't- I don't think I've actually properly updated the super chatter list lately. I need to go look through the logs and do that. Gotta remind myself later. Thank you so much for supporting me though. This helps so much. <laughs> 2924. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait. <laughs> All this math is hard. Hey, Hey Fruity, what's up? How's it going? Hmm. Wait, let's get those greens. Okay, let's finish them off now before they can dig down. I got this! Okay, this should be like a 12 chain, right? There's still a lot of information we don't know about Puyo Puyo Esports. We're gonna have to wait until this Saturday. <laughs> oh my gosh. 2 a.m. <laughs> oh my god. Jose! I need to like find like a copious amount of coffee. I just like chug it all down the night before. But like if I miss that stream, I will regret it for the rest of my life. I know it. Heavy hazes! 
Oh my gosh, not giving me purples. I wanted this to be better, but I guess this is still good enough, right? Can you stay up with me? We can do like a voice chat or something. I, yeah, that's how I feel too. Like, personally, I don't mind the reuse of the Puyo Puyo Tetris graphics because, like, I don't know, that UI actually is good. But I know people just expect shiny new things all the time. Just like, and, like, I personally have already come to terms that Puyo Puyo is a really major asset flip series, but. I know other fans, or the newer fans, haven't grown accustomed to that expectation. And that's not necessarily a bad, a bad thing. It's good to have new stuff. Oh. Hmm. Ooh. Only an eight. <laughs> Actually, if you really look, if you look really close at like Puyo Puyo 15th anniversary, Puyo Puyo 7, and uh, Puyo Puyo 20th anniversary, they all reuse the same menu, like except it's just like recolored. <laughs> Yeah, I'm keeping my hopes low about <laughs> localization, honestly. I know as like a promoter I should like pretend to be more hopeful, but I can't honest honestly tell you that. There's just something very specific about the way Sega of America and Sega of Europe are forgetting about Puyo Puyo, which makes me think that they're not really working on the localization right now. But hey, maybe we never know, you know? So... I guess keep hope. Maybe. If you feel like it. Oh, did I get them? I think I can get them here. Just a little more. Got the purples. They're locked out. Got him. Let's see if I can seal him off. Okay, fast attack next. Okay, 
okay. This three chain should be good enough. Is this as far as I go? Wait, I could have gone on more. Now that I think about it. <gasps> no, I messed up my tail. This is bad. Their chain is a lot longer. I totally set that off wrong. It could have been so much better. They're kind of weak here, aren't they? Let me get some more garbage on their field. There's two rows over their transition, so they can't access it. I'm at the advantage. Uh, there we go. Play as Satan. Okay. How do you best avoid how do you avoid color conflicts during your transition? You should try just experimenting with different build orders a bit so you know when you can do it when you have the right colors. A rule of thumb is to try not to do your transition when you don't have the colors. That's not always possible. Oh no! That's not always possible, but you should try doing that. I think I'm getting all chained here. Yo, look at the tail! Amazing. Oh my gosh. They were perfect. Need to be more proactive in stopping them. Wait! Don't get purples, please. Oh, they did. That was not a good gamble. Darn it. If only I had done a faster attack, I would have cut them off completely. Yeah, 
That's so strong. Hey, how about this attack? Oh. Oh, they have a power ton! Wow, 11! Mine's definitely not nearly as good as... Aww. Wait, what? Oh gosh. But they're ahead. They're gonna keep attacking me to gain the advantage. No! Oh. I didn't have time to build a defense because I needed to match their chain. Must have, I just, really, the solution was to find a way to like convert to a, a defense. Oh, I see what they're building on the right. Is this too much? It's too much. Wow. They had a much longer chain than whatever BS I was doing. Do you know what I really want? I want for someone at Tokyo Game Show to go into the game settings and check if Sega already coded in different countries like the US or Europe. Because if they have, then that kind of increases the chance of, of a localization a lot, I think. But if not, then huh, rip. That. I was trying to decide at the last second whether they were going to do their full chain or just attack. Yeah, the game is playable at TGS. Since these past couple of days were business days, I'm not sure if anyone there can tell us whether what kind of content they have there. But... 
Um, maybe tomorrow. I shouldn't have made my greens commit to like force me to have to extend. I should have left the greens of column two alone. I really didn't think they would rush me like that just out of nowhere. Okay, let's be a little safer. Or not, let's go! demo too but for a game that's already that cheap um it probably won't be and there's already the Puyo Tetris demo if you literally have no idea what Puyo is Is eight is Donguri Garu in this game? Yeah, but only as a skill battle character, which makes me sad. say this. Don't you guys think it's kind of a trend in Japanese games, or at least the Japanese developers, where they think they need to create like a curated experience, which sometimes involves removing features. That's what I think the devs for Puyo Puyo do sometimes, which is kind of like annoying and dumb. <laughs> like, they have no real reason to make it only 24 characters. Except for like, I don't know, controlling people's expectations for the next game. Because they still have to pay for voice actors and everything. Uh oh. Wow. Like, once you do, everyone is here, it's hard to live up to the same hype again, you know? And they still gotta sustain the series for the next century. That's probably their mentality, but like... I don't know. There's just so many Puyo characters that people want. It's hard to make everyone satisfied. I'm really far behind, and they noticed. Wait, oh, I shouldn't have split my Puyos. I would have made it. Hmm. 
Is this good enough? I think I have a ton. Um, I'm pretty sure Puyo Puyo 30th anniversary will come out before <laughs> 8. That's just the release cycle, sort of. Huh, that looks like it has to become an attack. Hey, let's see if this tail works. I totally made it up. Like, I think Sega might be skipping on the game slightly because they've got there's still a lot of money to spend on oh on like that tournament infrastructure that they're trying to build. They've been working on that too. to beat this. Okay, I didn't really make up that tail. I just followed the pattern for doing three column tails. If you read the breaking method guide on the Puyo Nexus wiki, you'll see. Just like in what's like a tutorial. Hmm. 
I'm gonna go for this. <sighs> Please let this be enough. <laughs> wow! Oh, I'm a pro. <laughs> They're gonna set off the chain. They have to. They didn't? But why? I'm at a huge advantage now. Guess I'll just set this off. I'm gonna get Puyo Puyo Esports when it releases in Japan too. I don't see any point in waiting. Just, I'm just gonna get it now. I'm obsessed with Puyo anyway, so I'll end up like triple dipping on copies of the game, if even if it, if it does get localized. So... Hey, it'll be so fun to play Fever Mode together. I mean, have any of you guys really experienced Fever Mode with another friend? It's something you'll really cherish. Hmm. They need to eat that. Oh. Okay, maybe I'm not going to make this. This isn't going to be strong enough. That was not a good ex a attempt at an extension. See that. I have a three chain though. How about another three chain? Oh, that's a four. Please don't get it. <sighs> okay. Make my own Puyo server, I guess. But then that's another server to watch. <laughs> Things are already so busy. Besides, you can talk to me anytime you want in the Puyo server. I don't mind. This is gonna... I'm not really ready to take their chain, but... That cut? Oh, I did not see that. 
さんね Well, I know they're interested in Taiwan and Korea, but those countries have been interested in Puyo Puyo in the past and have received Puyo localizations before. Like, I think they tried localizing Puyo quests for, for into Chinese and Korean before. It failed, but they still did it. And then, there I think they're aware that the the Korean scene for the game was pretty big back in the Puyo Puyo Fever PC days. Okay, three chain. Oh, nice. What do you mean Taiwan is a different Blu-ray region from Japan? Does it matter? The game's digital. Unless digital games are encoded differently based, based on the Blu-ray. Is that a thing? Hmm, it's not safe to do anything yet. Going to outchain me at this rate. I've got to do something. Oh. <gasps> My greens cut. Oh no! This is only a ten chain. Could have been a thirteen. I'm sad. How did I learn to do Puyo Puyo? I struggled for years and years, so I don't really think my advice is very applicable. <laughs> but there's lots of resources online now to help you, and lots of friends to practice with. People nowadays get so better so much faster within like a couple months. They're a pro. When I started playing this game, there was like barely a community for it. So I had to learn a lot of things on my own. You, you don't need to go through that struggle though. You have friends now. So just look around on the Puyo Discord and stuff. Is that? Oh. Ah, what? I wish I had gone to the next piece. I didn't realize that was a big, so big. Could you have some tips? I could try saying some very vague general things if that's what you need. I don't really know though. I don't really think I'm the best coach, honestly. Is that an attack? I can't believe I got them. They were too focused on like not connecting their chain. <laughs> Any tips on speeding up in Puyo? Well, once you become more confident in the forms, then you just have to start telling yourself to hold the down button more often. Like, watch replays of yourself and notice when you're slowing down. I need to go faster, actually. Ugh. Mm. 
Oh, that could have killed me. <gasps> I messed up. There wasn't supposed to be a yellow there. Oh, but that worked out. <gasps> I super messed up. Now this is like irreparable. <gasps> oh my gosh. I don't think... Wow. <laughs> what? I don't know what happened that round. I was playing so badly. Well, I added the Puyo Nexus banner to have Puyo Puyo Esports instead of Puyo Tetris. Which Puyo Nexus banner? Oh, you mean the that banner? Uh, I'll, I'll update it eventually. Actually, there's a lot of updates I need to do on all our social media, but it's just like... I don't know. A lot of things to balance. <laughs> I should rely on my friends more. Okay, maybe I'll do one more match and then... I need to get some work done. Oh, my nemesis from earlier! I haven't won against them yet. I don't know, it's hard to balance all these adult life expectations. I want to become really good at Puyo Puyo, that's one of my dreams. But one of my dreams is also to not starve. <laughs> so, like... Oh boy. Uh. Oh no! But I knew I needed to like fight somehow because they would just out chain me. I didn't know what to do at that point. Oh, they're about to set that off. Please! Oops. Wait. Wow. An 11? Okay, that chaining efficiency of, is off the charts. What do I do? <laughs> wow. Okay, well. I'll have to think of a plan to beat that guy next time, but... I've got to make sure I don't fail in the other aspects of my life. I haven't been getting enough sleep lately. Like, I've only been sleeping for like two hours or something. And my coworkers started noticing and like commenting on it. So now I feel really guilty for making them worry. So I'm gonna try to take better care of myself. I know there's a lot to do, but. Oh, I don't know. Anyways, thank you for watching. <laughs> I'm trying to get enough sleep, which is like, there's so much to worry about. So much that I care about. It gets really stressful and I start losing my mind a little. 
thankfully I have friends like you guys who put up with me. <laughs> Alrighty, see you guys later! Yeah, uh, Carbuncle says bye too. Let's all stay up late on Saturday. <laughs> we're trying to talk about getting good sleep, but then to watch the show on Saturday, we're all going to have to like destroy ourselves. But it'll be worth it. Just that once, right? <laughs> Anyways, see you then.